at this. Um, it's looking a lot, a lot better. This is really cool. A little moments here. There's only one moment where I would change something in terms of one little acting bit. Other than that, there's some really cool stuff. Nice changes there. Yeah, it's overall really, really neat. So, let's go step by step here. So it comes in here. This is definitely a lot better. It's not so... Um, what was the word? It's kind of like, not choppy, but it was very, very separated as he comes through. So now what you want to do is, as he... Just add detail things. When you see um, the knee moving like this, like a lot of movement in the feet and the body, as I... Uh, frame through this here, you can see how the the toe is not moving at all. There's nothing going on in the feet. So uh, during this section, you started here, that, which is great. Um, but you would, you know, tilt that guy over a bit more at the beginning, and then as he goes forward, it would kind of take the foot with it. Stuff like that. Um, you can see a little bit here too in this foot. See how much the knee, leg moves here, but this guy's um, all stuck there. As they as the arms go forward and he pulls himself forward, you can have a little compression uh, grasp thingy in his in his hands. So you know if that's the tree from the side, the hand feels kind of kind of flat with all the fingers here. And but as it moves forward, you want to you want to feel a moment of uh, you know something like that where where the fingers they everything goes up, it curls up, and he's kind of you know holding on to that tree a bit more. That's kind of a, a big slide there. I would make that a lot smaller and really pivot off the fingers. Like he's holding on to that thing right there. So it, it wouldn't be... If this slides as much here, while this hand is in the air, he would start falling down. It'd be kind of a weird, weird moment there. If you need to get some more rotation, like a sideways tilt on those feet as he moves the whole leg forward. You know, something's, something so you can feel that either you're taking the leg off the tree or you're sliding it along the tree, where it's kind of bumpy or... I'm not sure if you need that much foot roll. Uh, I don't know if that's an a, a ball roll, foot roll, or toe up, but it feels a bit much. Like Throughout this whole section, that foot should be flat. You can relax in that foot again, you're just moving it forward. Make sure that during those push-offs here where this guy is, this is on the tree and holding the weight that um, the shoulder goes up and takes the rotation of the chest with it. There's a bit more interaction in there. And this goes all the way down to here. You know, and he's fairly steep down at this point, so it would be neat to show that really attention in the in his hands. So if that's a tree from sideways and he's down, imagine his arm would be here. The wrist will be up, where like the thumb will be out. Hold on. Thumb will be out like that, and the and the fingers. You know, if that's the, if they everything curls up kind of like that. Imagine they all. That makes sense. You know, it's kind of like you want to put everything on the ball, of that of that wrist. Something so it's not completely flat on the tree and it looks like he's going to slide down. Like you want to feel like, okay, he's doing whatever he can to not fall down. Um, this is a very linear key. You know, you can track your spacing of all those sections here, right? And then from here to here, it goes here, this goes down. This feels like your key is just like that. You got to ease out of that and make sure that, you know, it pushes off with his butt. So I would say, on this, ease that out of it, but then the head would still look up. It would still be in the same position. So if I take this back, the head would be, you know, with the eye ridge here, looking, you're looking this way, and this, still be looking this way. And two frames later, then you'd start to put that head in. So you would start offsetting things and, and show off more what happens. This comes first and everything else follows. Same thing with this, this hand, it's here. I can go back and forth and nothing happens. And here to here, it's only over there. I think you can ease out of that just a bit more. It's not going to be a sudden pop. The arc is nice. It's a good little exaggerated jump where it's kind of hang time. And then kind of gets sucked in. Pop 
This feels a bit soft. That's not too bad, actually. Like he's trying to be quiet as he lands with his foot. The only thing about this guy is that if that's a, a view from the back or the front. These are his toes, and that's the foot up, and that's the leg up, right? Type of thing. So that's the camera looking straight at the foot here. It's my awesome arrows. What you want to do is actually have have it land like that, where um, the foot is tilted, and then over two frames gets to this. So otherwise it's too clean computery, you're flat on, one of the channels probably at zero. You want to make the same thing with this guy. You want to feel that, you know, this could be tilted this way, following that leg, forearm. I'm exaggerating the size, but this would be like this, you know. And then you go flat over a frame or two. I think this is a bit weird to do overlap with your hand like this. I think given that you want to be quiet and have stability, I would actually go um, like finger first. Like this would be his thumb. That's just an awesome drawing. <laughs> I got to go back to practicing drawing so bad. All right, instead of this, right, this is the front view, instead of what you're doing where, where it comes down, um, and then it's it's kind of like a foot, right? That's kind of those are his fingers. <laughs> Here, right? So this feels like this is what you're doing in fingers. This is the ground, as opposed to arm, wrist, thumb, fingers. It's more like a Spider-Man type of pose. I feel like that hand coming down, stops around the same time as the head and chest, and they both go up at the same time, you would offset that, I would do boom, this comes uh, uh, goes down at the very end, chest goes up first while this guy is still going down to three frames, and then comes up. You can always adjust it there, uh, I mean, you know, fine tune it after that, but you want to have kind of a overlap, and this feels like down and up all at the same time. Same thing here as with your foot, this feels like it's a linear key, your IK key on the ground gone as opposed to take a smooth right off where, you know, this is your first key where fingers and wrist and the thumb and then now you're, you're already off where fingers are here, right, something like that, but think about this is your, your hand on the, on the ground and then it kind of peels off and fingers are still on the ground. And then you get to your pose where you got your your uh, wrist, and then the fingers are off off the ground, right? Not so linear. This is being picky, but I would take this guy and move it a bit over. It's more like that. So you have um, a very se a clean separation between the knee and the wrist. Here you're forming kind of a tangent, just cut, touching that line right there. Same thing here, just, unless he's resting on the knee, but it feels like you're just a tad close, just make a clean silhouette. So the only acting change I would have here is that he lands, looks around, okay good, and this feels like it's too fast. Either you do this and hold 10 frames and have a little, little move up where... Um, <laughs> where the head, like he, he looks over, holds a bit, and goes up with the head, just a tad, and a bit with the, a bit with the roots going up, right? So it feels kind of, you want to, you want to feel in your body language, in your pantomime, that he looks around and goes, oh, and it's that oh moment that that's missing. It's just looking, looking, and grabbing, but it's not a look, look, oh, what is that? That oh, what is that? Is missing, and you already go for this. Same thing here, you want to be just a tad more away. I don't mean picky here, but you don't want to form any tangents or just feel like it's super, super enclosed. There's no reason for it. You have, you have plenty of room for a nice silhouette. Same thing here, you have your wrist aligned with his leg. So if I squint, the silhouette, kind of, that's kind of how I see if I'm exaggerating. So at this point, you would have that arm here, down, like that. And you, some tricky here. You, I don't know if you can spear tip here, 
or you would have it enough out here away from the leg but the tip would be like that let's watch out for silhouettes it's good that this foot stays on the ground but the thing is it's this foot here right that's going to push him this way because that's his balance here center and that guy's here so it has to push over this way right so as he does that you are a already moving the foot and you if you lift the foot now right and he's like this he would start falling backwards to me the the center would have to be over this foot he would have to be like that for um, this leg to to uh, get off the ground here so what I would do is take this and leave it leave it leave it leave it he would still be he would still have a foot roll and be on the ground until he's over that foot and now you can take it off and then go into that step so make sure that the weight distribution is good and then here same thing take your hand off uh, higher so you're not overlapping with this for cleaner silhouette because you're doing this throughout and here forming tangents it's all a bit too too close like same thing here the staff forms a line with his thigh so it's kind of two aligns could just all be just a bit clearer that kind of works stops same thing here I think you can bring this staff lower arm a bit higher separate that thing but acting wise he comes in and goes oh, do, 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 do. I think what's he, what I would do here, he comes forward and then stops. And it feels like his root is going forward and stop, as opposed to forward, stop, up, oh, and back, back a bit. Like he's taking a step with this guy here, and this guy kind of stops his forward momentum. So that at the end, I would have it around here, just a bit more forward. Like he goes forward, oh, and goes back. Like it's that leg that stops the forward momentum, but then gets pushed back, and then you end up being here again. Just a little bit forward and back. And then looking at this, I feel like this arm is moving, the head is moving, all this moving at the same time. So this could be stop, and then maybe he could adjust his neck first, going up, and then bring that chest up, and then that arm moves. Not that it has to be frozen in space while this moves, but just a bit less pose to pose. Same thing here. This feels a bit harsh in your body here so you're here and then you go down to here and then he stays put and goes up if I track this it feels like you're let's see if I can do this here you're here and you're, I know there's a camera move in there but see it's a big move uh, it's hard to say but to me without the camera it feels like you're doing this instead of a down arc like this or something like this where it's a bit more of an arc this feels like a very quick two three frames move of the body and the head and then you stay put and then you go up again I'll just smooth it out a bit watch out this is picky but you see this foot and this guy goes up it's pretty much this following the same distance it feels like now your spear is attached to your foot so I'll probably drag that guy a bit more, bring up the foot first. Foot is leaning here, foot is doing the action. And at this point, the spear is kind of just dragging, coming along for the ride. Hope you need on that compression here to see his shoulder go up. You know, if that's the tree and then got the shoulder and the, and the body, and it, it's not flat. I got the tree here. And instead of being all on the tree, you got the shoulder that goes up here, the shoulder ball, you know that ball that you have here? This guy. So you don't want it to be tree and the body like this. You want the body to be like that. Right? You want to feel how the shoulder gets pushed up. That arm is up on the thingy. And he's kind of leaning in. So you want to feel that compression there as much as you can. I like those moves with the feet as some detail on the feet. The only thing that's a bit weird is that how the toes move and rotate here at the same time. 
he's moving forward so I would not rotate this guy because to me it feels like this is the, the leg that pushes pushes him up here so you want to feel all the pressure on that toe and no sliding that kind of takes away from the weight as he pushes here I would stabilize that hand and not move it I would in fact flatten so you got your thumb and your fingers here but then as he goes in that thumb can be a bit more out and then your fingers could start um, displaying oh, such a great drawing you know where they come apart they spread so you, go, you, you can feel the the pressure on it and let that move here it feels again a bit linear on how you move your root forward and by the way the spear could be like down here and not tip on thigh. Again, for silhouettes, you don't want things to overlap and from tangents like that. I think this drop is a bit harsh looking at your spacing here. Your guy goes here, 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 a little bit up, but then goes immediately down. If I exaggerate, this feels like this is your arc as opposed to this. Like you want to go up, hold it a bit, and then go down. is good that is a bit too horizontal I think I mentioned that last time you want to bring that down or up or to me it feels like you want to go down with it but it's a bit too perfectly horizontal there and I think for this part as you run if you look at his root he comes in and it comes to a stop goes down and suddenly goes forward as so it's doing this as opposed to that I go on a bit of a smoother thing where it doesn't just stop. Like if you look at the body here, this guy and this, this is all moving at the same time in a very linear way. Even this guy. So think about offsetting this a bit more where he gets into this pose while the root still goes a bit more forward. And then on the throw it would be this is leading first. The chest turns, the shoulder leads, and the thing can be a bit further back. And then it's kind of a, almost, almost like a baseball throw almost. And then he gets into into uh, the spear, and at this point, really extend that arm. And here, if you look at his roots, his root goes goes forward, and here it starts to slow down. You have a moment of actually not moving that much, but it still feels like it's slowing down, and it can slow down. Your forward momentum is going to continue in free fall until this foot hits the ground and stops the fall. Only here. I will bring this this guy actually lower. This feels a bit too high. I will bring this guy low into something like this. Where it, you know, and potentially another step. So it's not so relaxed. He doesn't feel like he gave it his all. It's just kind of a half ass throw with his body language at the end there. Okay, that's about it. Alright. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.